I think Taos is really fortunate to have an institution like UNM Branch Campus here. Um, I, as a student and as a resident of Taos for the last six years, um, am especially fortunate because if it wasn't for having a campus so close by, I wouldn't have been able to continue my, my personal education. We don't have a lot of opportunities in uh, rural communities and, and we don't have a lot of resources throughout the state. And being able to have a community college here, and especially affiliated with the flagship university, University of New Mexico, is a big thing. It's, it's really a big deal because you not only have opportunities for students to, to develop workforce skills, but you also, you also have an opportunity to help people with uh, developing a, a work ethic to, and, and an interest in education. If there wasn't an institution like this, I would not be able to continue with my education because um, with my demand as a parent and a business owner, I wouldn't be able to commute. That just wouldn't be a possibility for me at this time. Our, our role right, has always been, like most institutions in higher ed, is really to, to be the open door to the American dream. That's what we're here for. And I'm very old fashioned in that I believe in all that stuff. I believe that education um, creates opportunities. It creates pathways to a better and brighter future for everybody that can take advantage of it. Even in these difficult economic times, it's, you're still better off to have a, have a degree, to have some education, than not. You know, even, even though jobs are scarce, it still gives you a huge advantage. Um, I think a common misconception uh, among the community and with myself, to be quite honest, is that because UNM Taos was a branch campus of, of the main campus in Albuquerque, that we receive uh, financial support and funding from from the, the main branch camp or the main campus, um, which is which is not true. So we rely a lot on on uh, reaching out to the support from our community to be able to continue the initiatives and the efforts, and whether it be um, five thousand dollars or five dollars every little bit helps I mean it's it's being able to provide scholarships for you know a, a, a returning adult student that has raised a family and has gone through the workforce and really wants to take that next step to show the example to their children that they can continue and, and go on to college and get a, a, a higher degree education and so any level of support is is, is helpful the fact is, you know, once you get up here and you start looking around, you realize this is a very under-resourced institution. We just don't have the same kind of funding that they have there. We don't get money from UNM. We have to earn it ourselves through offering of classes and then grants and contracts and all the other things that you have to do as a college. Um, but, you know, if you look at this institution relative to, to main campus, um, aside from having the name <laughs> on the door, um, there, there are really not that many advantages. Um, and certainly if you look at it in terms of a percentage of the budget, we're, I don't know what that would be um, relative to main campus. Uh, it's uh, less, less than a percent of the, of the overall UNM budget. And, and when you have to serve um, or when you get to serve, actually, let me clarify that, when we have the honor of serving, you know, 1,600, 1,700 people a semester from this county, the amount of money we get, you know, a few million dollars from, from the state to run this campus is really very, very small. The fact that we have so few um, um, staff is, is uh, um, a testament to that, is, is evidence of that effect. Um, we. Uh, Everyone here, compared to big institutions, is doing three or four different jobs because we just don't have the people because we just don't have the funding. But we still do the same functions as a big institution. We just do it a lot fewer people. Right. Um, the, um, the notion, uh, because we're, we have UNM in our name, is that we're well-funded and well-heeled and we have an endowment and, and uh, uh, that we're doing pretty well. Not the case. In fact, we um, we pay a certain amount of money uh, to, for every credit hour that, that we uh, uh, enroll students in back to main campus. And 
we're very proud of that affiliation, but we're, we're not riding high right now, uh, to, to say the least. In these economic times, it's, it's, it's pretty difficult. We have had classes uh, uh, cut because we just can't afford to provide them uh, unless we have a certain number of students enrolled in the class. We've, we've had to tighten the screws quite a bit. And we hate to do that. We also uh, have had uh, some increases in tuition, but not to any anywhere near the extent uh, that that uh, have occurred elsewhere, and particularly at the the four-year colleges. Actually, I think we we have some advantages over Maine Campus in that we have a lot of uh, people in this community that we can call upon as faculty members that really truly believe in. Our, our students and our community and that are highly highly qualified a lot of people as you know and among our, our um, part-time faculty are retired um, who had wonderful productive careers somewhere else and then they moved to Taos because this is that kind of community um, and now we get to take advantage of all those decades of their experience um, and of their their expertise in their field and our students have therefore um, uh, access to faculty, I think, that are, are much stronger, much deeper in, in terms of their knowledge and their content expertise than most small college, you know, most small community colleges uh, in most rural towns. We, we have a big advantage there. And as you know, at, at, uh, you ever, you, you've probably taken classes on main campus as, as an undergraduate. You realize that most often you don't get the good faculty in the undergraduate. Um, but we, for the first two years, we have all these, these uh, PhD level faculty that have this wonderful expertise and our students get access to that much, much better than getting, you know, graduate students, you know, proctoring a big class of 100 or 200 people as, as you would get at main campus. We have this personalized, high quality educational experience, I think. I'm not sure if they really understand the level or the quality of classes that, or the types of instructors that we bring in. I, I sometimes think that maybe they don't realize it's so, so many of our professors have PhDs. Uh, I, what I'm hearing lately, since I'm kind of new to, to UNM also, going on four years, but still feels new, but I, I hear that uh, they're not know, they're surprised the, that so many of the, our instructors pay such quality time with them. And a lot of times if you're in a bigger university, you have your, the teacher assistant, but you don't have the instructor. And here, the classes are smaller and they're able to dialogue more with their instructor. I'm working now currently on an associate's degree in, in business administration, and my goal is to con continue that and, and go for my bachelor's and ultimately my master's degree. And um, I'm able to do that here. I'm able to do everything that I want to do, everything that I love to do, and still have the opportunity to have a wonderful institution right in my own backyard without having to worry about uh, driving to Albuquerque to do so or living in Albuquerque because I, I want to be here. I made a choice to be here. And I'm able to do that and continue my degree while still being close by my family. And um, I also have the, the unique opportunity to be employed by UNM Taos and it just it provides an amazing opportunity that's very supportive to my education and uh, I have the opportunity to work with some really wonderful minds and I stand a lot to learn not only through my education as a student but through working in the environment of academia. I think one of the the best examples of, of our, our impact here, our positive impact, is our nursing program. Uh, it's, it's a very costly program. Uh, students have to apply and it's rigorous and uh, the payoff is huge. We had uh, 14 students graduate and 11 of them stayed in Taos County to practice as nurses uh, when they passed their national boards. 100% of the class passed the national boards. And, and then um, uh, uh, a number you can hang your hat on, those, those 11 students, when they graduated, were, uh, walked into jobs in Taos County. And the, the starting salary was in the mid-50s. Now that's half a million dollars a year coming in as, as wages, uh, coming in as salaries, right back to Taos County. That's economic development. When I came here to UNM Taos myself, I noticed that they had a really great nursing program. They were really good teachers. A lot of the students who came into the library uh, were very engaged in their studies, uh, really cared about uh, what they were learning. And 
it struck me that, that my sister could benefit from going through this sort of program. Even though she has a son and has a job and, and things like that, uh, the counselors, the advisors at UNM really stepped her through the process and really made it accessible to her. Uh, and right now, she is really thrilled. Uh, she's one of the best students in the program. She, um, her, one of her teachers has recommended that she get into the Keystone program, and she's getting a little scholarship to participate in that. So she'll be getting a lot of extra resources from the partnership that, that UNM Taos has with the, uh, the Keystone program. Uh, and uh, actually she's even uh, been so into it, people have been asking her biology questions and she wants to get into the, uh, the tutoring program, the CASA tutoring program. Uh, so, you know, a year ago she wasn't sure, but uh, taking advantage of the resources and the helpful nature of the, uh, the, the staff, uh, it's really changed things for her and she's really, uh, she can see a real future for herself uh, and that's only because of what UNM Taos brings to this community. There's such a concern now and the last couple years about the economy and what the government should be doing and what the Chamber of Commerce should be doing and what all these different entities should be doing and we see it every day, businesses are struggling. I think a key component to that is having an institution that can provide the support, uh, the education, the training, um, the possibility and the accessibility for individuals to better themselves, to uh, better their families, to better their opportunities. Education is economic development and I think we, we can start here and I think UNM Taos provides in throughout their um, certification programs, throughout their uh, degree programs, but also through business specific workshops and trainings, a real opportunity to uh, develop our workforce and develop our local economy here. Having a community college in Taos is, is so wonderful because of the uh, the self-esteem that some of these people that don't have and they come into a co college library and they're received so respectfully by the librarians and our work studies I think that's key but for example today we had a, a former instructor call us and he has some books that he wants to share with our library we're immediately able to refer him to certain instructors that are teaching that subject and get his books out to our students or in our library. Another instructor came in today and she said that she wants all her books, her sociology books donated, she wants to donate them to our library so that they can be of use to students. So those are the types of examples. Basically, I started the UNM Taos Library in 1995. Um, I was given a desk, a bookshelf, and a computer, and I was told to start an academic library. So I have a personal investment in this library. Um, I've watched it grow and develop, and I've been a big part of it. Um, right now, we are seven miles away from where the classes are being held, um, and so that's a concern of mine, and that's something when I'm not just running the library, um, I'm trying desperately to try to get us physically out with the classrooms uh, where the students are. Um, our ultimate goal is to construct uh, approximately a 30,000 square foot building on the campus to kind of round out the, the facilities at, at the, the UNM Taos campus. And that's not just for the library. Again, what the library does is interacts with other departments within the institution in order to assist the students and faculty. So this building is, is going to partially be the library, but will also house um, all the resources for developmental studies courses. Um, people who are coming in and are not quite college ready, we can integrate and work together. Um, as well as the Southwest Research Center, the Water Institute, and there'll be a media theater um, room there as well. Um, we've been doing a lot of outreach with the lecture series. has been a great success, so we hope to house that there as well. Um, Southwest Research Center, we work hand in hand helping people in our community as well as researchers from around the world that come in and we, um, are, are, we complement each other's resources and each other's skills. So to have that all housed in one building is, is really key and that's our goal here. Funding and raising funds is going to be crucial for years to come, I, I, I believe. 
And the best way we can do that is we, uh, we're, we have uh, applications out for grants all over the place. We have a grants director. Uh, we have um, a developmental director that, uh, that is uh, uh, working on creatively bringing in funds. And it's the folks here in, in this community, I think, that, that most especially uh, benefit from the college and I think uh, have it in their heart that they that they want to be a part of it and want to contribute to its success. Well I think um, because we're a small institution people can get involved in all kinds of different ways. We're accessible not just to you know students but to the entire community. Um, people can come in and, and teach for us and, and get involved in projects and volunteer and we have that kind of small town personal sort of approach to things and that's that's a big advantage. The other thing is that when people contribute to an institution like UNM Taos, um, because we're small and because we're used to making do with less, everything counts. A little bit of resources here goes a long way. Right? We, we're a fairly low cost institution. We cost, I don't know what it is, a, a third, a fourth of what it costs to attend main campus. Um, we cost less than, than other four-year schools and on par with other community colleges in the state, certainly in this region. So if, if someone was to, to provide us with some resources to a project, right, we could really do some really good things with a very small amount of money because that's just the way we do it. Actually, it's a, uh, one thing I've always observed because my family is from northern New Mexico for a long time. Um, I've observed that's what northern New Mexicans are good at, making do with a little bit. Right? That's what, that is what kept us here for the last 400 years. Right? We're just good at it. Uh, it's really important for the folks in our community to help us out to get scholarships so that we can continue getting our education. We need that funding to help us out get books, help us with supplies. Really uh, warms my heart as, as the community continues to think of us when it comes to donations of materials and bequeathments of collections after family members pass on in our community. And that's important because we're continuing to archive materials from our, our local history um, and our local characters, and, and that's important. Um, so, but unfortunately, where we're at now is the space. So. Um, to continue to have that support from the community is absolutely wonderful, but I think the next step in support would be to help us um, get to the point to where we can start breaking ground on our, our new facility. I think especially the, the, the folks that have, have had some college experience and some work experience are the ones that really understand what, how pivotal the community college is and the, the excitement of, of literally being a part of our progress and having a say in how we, how we grow and how we proceed and, and it's, it's just a wonderful thing for, for anyone and it's so rare when someone doesn't really care from the heart about, about Taos and Taos and community and the community college are, are joined in so many ways so uh, it's um, we all contribute as much as we can, but also it's it's a great opportunity. It's it's uh, it's it's standing up and saying I, I'm going to do something for this community and for the young people, for people that are coming back for certificates and degrees, honing skills so that they're more productive in the workforce. It's a great way to serve your community. I think what it comes down to is that this is our community and this is our college. And I think that we each have a unique opportunity to go out into the community, to our friends, to our neighbors, to our coworkers, to our family, and, and advocate for UNM Taos and let folks know about the great work that we're doing, about what we're doing today and what, uh, what we're, our vision is for the future. And we look forward to your partnership in that in the years to come.